Dr. Sandran, very good morning, sir. You are welcome here. You are the most successful person, and you are a visionary leader. Tell me, what is your question? What is the vision? Oh, great. See, vision means, dear Sandran, sir, you are not only looking into present, but you are also having lot of calculations how things will move in the future. So there are lot of uh, great philosopher and thinker. Other day, I heard GM, our Shyam Lab, our best friend. We do yoga together. Twenty year vision. the plan for 10 year 20 year now narendra modi one of the great visionary leader of india he is 20 he is thinking century ahead he telling india is going to be the third largest country by the end of this century century means 2047 because that will be the period by the time india will make century 100 years of freedom from the british slavery so dear friend you know visionary leader is thinking what will happen and what i can do they have beautiful planning they have beautiful reasoning you know visionary leaders have made the world so beautiful they are dreamers but for dreamers we are today so happy and peaceful they dream dream and they dream lofty dreams and they make the lives of the millions and hundreds and thousands of people very happy and prosperous you are a physician dr satnare you see how many visionary medical experts with research and development give you lot of diagnostic techniques surgery techniques that's why the world is so beautiful and lot of diseases are being cured people are also striving to know how to create a male child or female child they are trying to understand the combinations of x and y they are also trying to understand how this abnormal cell multiplication which is the root cause of cancer it can be eliminated they are also trying to cure aids you know which is really a venereal diseases and because of that people die there is not cure see they are visionary leaders they have vision and their vision is not for destruction their vision is for creativity but for the visionary leaders the suffering humanity could be eliminated and dismissed and dead so that is vision we are really too small people we don't have contributed so much to the world but still we should have some vision at least for your survival as maslow said if you have to live your life you don't know when you will die you were born that is definite but death is also definite so you must need all the pyramids of your needs physiological needs safety security needs social needs your self esteem and then come the self actualization part and then he has added sixth also there is spirituality because above everything is buddha enlightening world because buddha has all the needs but he is discarded everything renounce everything so sir visionary people are dreamers and because of them the world is civilized the world is in a better position but there are a lot of criminals also you see the war putin and zelensky then hamas and uh, this and everywhere you see the pakistani the bangladeshi they are not visionary they are going thousands year back because they are destroying everything killing murdering massacring they are going to the stone age what my best friend ansain said he said very definitely the third World War was fought by atom bombs. You know that. Second World War, Hiroshima and Nagasaki, and he know he said that I don't know with which weapons they are going to fight this third World War, but the fourth World War I am definite. And he said they will be fought by stones and some kind of sticks because eliminates it, destructive. Human. My best friend Charlie Chaplin made a beautiful film, The Great Dictator. He said. greed has barricaded the man's mind they have divided the society into segments they hate they have developed all the scientific great equipments all kind of information but they have deteriorated their morality they have lost the gospel of love that's why i am pandit who loves all the same fakir in latining wisdom of buddha and bond james bond these people who are really brave like bond movie hero they can only follow loving each other and learning the enlightening wisdom of buddha otherwise they will be criminals you know putin is a good man he is a varia suddenly there was a terror by the wolves in some parts of india they are eating the children dozens of children were eaten by wolves a host of wolves wolves were that they are wolves they are animals they are bloodthirsty they are bloodthirsty they are idiots They have power, but they don't have the mental reasoning love power. So, what is the question here? Who is the visionary leader who thinks for creativity 
and yogi is the greatest visionary leader. Anybody who knows yoga, tell me what is the gospel of yoga. I am Nija Parobeti Ganna Laguchetsa Mudar Chaitanam Basudev Kutumkam. I am Nija Parobeti Ganna Laguchetsa Mudar Chaitanam Basudev Kutumkam. Sare Bhantu Sukhna Sarve Shantu Niramaya Sarvadrani Pashantu Makashi Dukh Bhagavad. They are a visionary leader. They have a vision for the world where there is a peace, where there is joy, where there is happiness, where there is cooperation. And that is well represented in 191 verse of Rig Veda. Sang Gachadvam. Sang, sang. Sang means saath. Let's go together. Sang Gachadvam. Sang, sang. Sang Gachadvam. Sang Badadvam. Sang means saman, similar. Sang Badadvam. Samo manasi janatam. Means make your mind equilibrium and balance and symmetrical. It should not be... That is yoga. Yoga Chitvati Nirodha, your mind should not be negative and positive, oscillating like a pendulum. It should be some, some oh manasi janatam. Your mental state should be absolutely symmetrical and equilibrium. And it should be in the phase of peace, joy, happiness, kindness, compassion, honesty, integrity, truth, justice, love for all. You see, that's the, that's the vision. With this vision, whatever you achieve is fine. What is the need to do a lot of discovery of destructive weapons and destroy your wisdom and become criminals and kill and murder and massacre everyone. I am such visionary leader. You have limited but be happy. Buddha was a visionary leader. He don't have much but he was very happy and peaceful. He renounced everything in the world. But that is absolute command of your mind. Thank you, sir. Thank you.